Greetings, everybody. Okay, y'all want to hear a little story? Once upon a time, there was an old biker dude who decided to set off on an amazing motorcycle travel adventure featuring camping, cooking, and fishing. I'm an old biker dude, man. <laughs> Hey folks, let me uh, let me take a minute just to show you guys a really cool little hack uh, for for solar power stations worked in conjunction with lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, I'm currently uh, using this little. It's not a miniature. I mean, it's smaller than a regular 12.8 100 amp. But this is the Lipuls. Uh, it's L I P L or P U L S. Um, I was just you know I was sent one of these here by this company. Um, they've got a real impressive uh, interest in maintaining good, you know, green technology. And that, that's what kind of attracted me to these people, being that I'm a solar buff and everything. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to do a little hack using one of these 12.8, 100 amp hour batteries that will greatly extend the life, uh, your capacity of a small solar power station like my Blue Eddy EB3A. As you can see here, my EB3A is at 98%, and I'm using it to power my refrigerator um, down here. I've got a little Vivor uh, 12 volt, or it's actually AC DC, but right now it's just cooling it down. It's at 54 degrees, and that hasn't used very much on this, but I'm going to show you something here. What I'm going to do is I've uh, rigged up this little jumper wire that I can, you know, hook to the negative and positive, and then I've got the plug right here. And what I do is, is I can, uh, I can bring this over here and plug it in. Now with my EB3A, I'm usually at a, at a capacity of 268 watt hours. As you can see, it's using 46, or it's using 24 watts to run my refrigerator, but the little battery is delivering 62 watts to it. So now what's going to happen with that surplus is I'm going to move back up to 100%, and it's going to keep it that way. And basically, I'll be running my refrigerator off this battery instead of just the Blue Eddy. So like if I had to run this all night long, this gives me the watt hour capacity of this battery added to the 268 watt hours of the EB3A. So with 12.8 100 amp down here, I'm, at, I'm getting 1280 watt hours, which I can add to the 268 watt hours of the Blue Eddy. See, and I'm at 1500 watt hours, which would run that, um, which would run the refrigerator you know, it's only running off 24 watts, and that's intermittently because it'll shut off and come on and shut off and come on. So I, I technically I could run that for 60 hours off of that capacity, and that's just this little tiny battery and my Blue Eddy solar power station, and that's without deploying any solar, which I can do during the daytime. So basically, I'm able to run my refrigerator 24 hours a day right here in my little bunkhouse trailer while I'm going down the road. And that's really cool. But that's just a, just to show y'all a little hack. You can also do it in a, you know, in bigger fashion. Here I've got an AC70 uh, Blue Eddy, and I can hook it to my big giant Golden Amp or Golden Mate. This is a uh, 12 volt 200 amp battery, and that's 2560 watts, which adds to 768. And that's pushing me up there around 3,300 watt hours. And that's the system I usually use in here. And then I use that smaller system in my smaller pull trailer. So any of you guys that are interested, you know, that pull trailers or, uh, you know, things like that uh, out with your, you know, pull your camper trailers or your, or your small cargo trailers around with you while you're traveling around the country. Um, you know, you might keep that hack in mind. That doesn't take up hardly any space right there, as you can clearly see. 
and then when deployed with your solar panel you can charge it back up during the daytime it's just a great way to have you know a, a good volume of electricity i can run up 600 watts off this thing and on the other one i can do uh up to a thousand so that even allows me to run like an electric blanket all night without any problem um for actually a couple of days if i got in bad weather or whatever but there you go just a little hack idea you can use to uh help make your um small solar um batteries a little tougher and longer lasting see with that uh, little hack going on see with the jumper wire i'm connected to the blue eddy saying it's uh delivering 65 66 watts into the blue eddy and has already charged the blue eddy back up to almost 100 percent and since it's only pulling 24 volts it's going to keep this topped off at 100 percent and basically my refrigerator which is now cooled down to 46 degrees on its way to my target of 37 degrees is going to stay running all night long uh easily off the capacity of this uh of this lipoles battery which has 1280 watt hours of capacity so it will keep this thing running for you know all night easily and uh and then of course you know during the day i can i can deploy solar to charge this back up and uh you know it's just a great little hack way of uh, extending the life of your of your solar power stations